but we finna get to this first topic. So I want to ask y'all, have y'all heard about like the Instagram models and like what they like the ones that begin flew out to Dubai, what they have, what they are doing in Dubai? Have you heard about? I haven't heard what they're doing, but I heard about, you know, Instagram models being flown out to like Dubai and stuff like that. Like, but honestly, like I, I was always curious because like not to put nobody out. I ain't finna say no names or nothing, but I seen this one girl on my Instagram. She got flowed out and this girl showed everything but who she was with. (laughs) <laughs> so I knew I just knew It had to be some type of I don't know Like if they go one time It's okay But for the for the women That's going multiple times This is from the blow your mind like you, you you say you heard or, Yeah I heard Yeah yeah What, yeah. what, you, what they doing? No, nah, he discussed it he, We actually discussed Before the episode started He for was real? telling me Yeah uh, they, You gonna break it down they, 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 they got companies From Dubai That go through Instagram Basically scouting women they get trains ran on them by the Saudi men, Saudi Arabian what? men. They get peed on. They get shitted on. They make them have sex with animals. Uh, uh some, one woman said that they like take objects and you know force them in. They you know they parts. What? What? They beat on them with stuff. Where you weapons. get this from? Ooh, women are leaving their testimonials. Wow, that's like, crazy. I, I heard. I first heard about it maybe like. Two, three years ago. But it was just like word of mouth. I heard about it. And I went on YouTube searching, but nothing came up. Yeah. But just the other day, I, it dawned on me again. So I went on YouTube and there's countless videos of women giving their giving they testimonials. Wow, like, that's crazy. They send them a contract. At first, you know, they say they're down. They send you a contract. They let you know what they're going to do. And they agree. That's the thing. Like, uh, if they 40, telling you what they gonna do, up to forty, fifty thousand dollars for like a three day weekend. So oh, a lot yeah. of these women looking at like fifty thousand dollars for three days. Okay, cool. Yeah, but shitting on. I'm sorry, I can't. Man, I can't do one it. One woman said they made they made her eat it. Like, it ain't, yeah. like <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I want. I want to ask you. Oh, do you think God. they knew they was gonna get exposed? Who? Women, yeah, the women. The, the, the women the, are the ones who talking about it. Yeah, the women are the ones that's putting it out there. Yeah. Wow. It's the fact that I don't know. This that's just crazy. Like, like I wouldn't. I don't care. But mm-hmm. that that goes to show you, man. You don't know what be going on behind those sexual closed doors. You know, we we like it's I a said, lot be, that be going on that we don't know, you know about. Like R. Yeah. Kelly, you know what he be what he did to those women, those pissing. <laughs> <laughs> Golden showers, Golden like, showers, like and uh, was it young, young Miami or uh, JT? And then mm-hmm. uh, Sukiana, both of them just came out and said they like to be peed on. Like me personally, uh-uh. like I said, I said before, like I, I'm, I'm married. I've been with my wife for twenty, twenty one years. Married fourteen together, all together twenty. And there's just certain shit we haven't even. I, we, we don't do all that, but play shit. We I never peed on her like like I feel like if That's you marry nasty, I feel like if like, you marry it, it's like if as the years go on you gonna look for things to spice up the relationship you know if you marry but a lot of people doing all this stuff to not randoms. with your bodily waste you, you like, doing that that's shit with randoms like, like if you in and out of different like multiple relationships every year you should be doing basic basic sets you shouldn't be doing all this advanced shit like. That's not even they, 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 have, they probably have so many sexual partners that they trying to be creative. A, a lot of these people gonna be so used to it by the time they do get married, like they just gonna like they be like, yo, you gotta what's a deer? <laughs> like it's, they could be asking for the animals. <laughs> like <laughs> that's crazy. Going on the farms, fucking the goats and shit <laughs> like that. Like, which I heard people do that too. That's another story. It'd be it'd be crazy stuff going on behind those closed doors. It's a lot, like I said, in like the dark web. Mm -hmm. Like y'all think that's crazy. Like it's literal, like just straight up wicked shit going on. And the dark web, I remember it was this site called the Woman's Cookbook. And it was basically 
te- recipes on what body parts they cook on a woman. Like they cook and eat. Heard that. A woman's cookbook. And it was another one where like it was like a live and they was like torturing someone and the people was in the comments like telling them what to do next. Like it's some crazy yeah, but you know wicked what's crazy? stuff going Like on. those sexual things, people like what they like. Um, I always bring up, you know, the call center. So it was a call center. She was our supervisor and she used to be a stripper. And she told me the story that it was a guy that like he would come every day with money and would like tip the skinniest girl with no ash, no nothing. But to him, she was attractive. People just like weird stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sexually. <clears throat> I know. He prob- it probably reminded him of a kid. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know a stripper. She she say it would be this one dude that would come in all the time, trench coat on. And as soon as he get in, he would just pick two, three women. And they go straight to the VIP room. As soon as he get in, he, they get back the close curtains. He would pull out a strap on deal, though. He would give it to the women, tell them to take turns fucking him. Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. he would tell them to step on his nuts with the high heels, like the heel part. Uh. And to him, that shit turned him on. It, but she said he was an older white man. So like, oh, like <laughs> they, they more open to certain stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Um, like, but back to the black well, I didn't actually learn about the black well to maybe like 10 years ago. And when I learned, I'm like, what? Like, it's a different website. I mean, different web than the normal. And it was like, yeah, the black web. That's where a lot of, you know, Wickedness. sex trafficking and Pedoph- pedophilia yeah. and all, all that yeah. shit be going on. Like, it's like. It's bad. Scammers. All, like, that yeah. shit is serious. Yeah. They cover up a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of dark. It's a lot of dark things that be going around. It's so. it's, it's sad when you do, really do, think so about it. I want to actually do like sexual desires. Do you feel like that's like a mental problem when like the dark? I world? feel like it is honestly, because y'all remember the um, Jeffrey Dahmer thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that oh, ooh, was great. his sexual desire, and that was like twist. I think is a mental thing, because like when you think about it. People that are pedophiles, why are you attracted to a child? That's mental. Like, something is wrong with you in your head. <laughs> For real. Yeah. I can't I can't even fathom. Because like. he even explained, like, he tried to explain. He was like, he just feel, like, sexually attracted to these people's organs. Like, yeah. that's mentally, like, something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's like the, I don't know why that's not more open. Like, you know, more conversations to that. Like, what can a lot we do of people scared, A lot of people scared to go down that rabbit hole. Like, because when you go down that rabbit hole, you're going to find out who all back there. And mm-hmm. it's the same, same thing. Members. With, uh, mm-hmm. we just said Jeffrey, mm-hmm. like when they found his books and all the people that was going to his island, mm-hmm. they got the little invitation book. Everybody who signed in. Uh, Obama, Oprah. Jay-Z, oh no, no, like, that's um, that was that. I'm talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. The, oh, Dahmer, Dahmer. Okay, okay. Who was the? Yeah, he, who's yeah, the, yeah, who's you, we interested in that? Who, no, yeah, I know who you're talking uh, about, Jeffrey but I forgot. Epstein. Yeah, Epstein. Yeah. yeah, he was the pedophile. Yeah, yeah. At, oh, right here in Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. Just sad, man. Like when you, like, but they found his book and all the people that went to his like politicians. Uh. Former presidents, you know, superstars. Yeah. Everybody that was going there is damn like, near everybody. You you would have to take down so many Donald people. Trump. You'll have so many people coming at you because like at yeah. that point you expose you making everybody. Enemies, you making you making too many enemies when you talk about that type of stuff because Yeah. Like a lot of people scared to talk about that shit for real. Cause you, Cause you like enemies. really exposing people for yeah. real. And you have enemies that you don't even know that you have. They just yeah. put a hit on you and they got the money to do it. That's crazy. Uh, that is crazy. <clears throat> so, I saw this video of um this man and woman that was in McDonald's, and she was going off on. And he just calm. She hitting him, spitting on him, slapping him, and this shit went on for like ten minutes, and he just calm. Everybody in there laughing, got mm-hmm. their phones out recording. The moment, cause she 
picked up a tray and hit him in the head with a tray. That's when he lost it. When he lost it, and it looked like he was about to hit her. That's when just about every dude in the way, hey, 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 hey. Bruh, at that point, what do you do? He was about to hit her, and every dude was like, I think I would have stopped it. Damn, I think, yeah, I would have done the same thing. Like, if the dude, because you know what, like, the, I, know it's, I know it's unfair how society goes, but you know the dude can hurt her more. So I would have definitely, you know, stopped it. Yeah. Even though it's, it's not, it's, I hate how society be like, and it's understandable, like, how they take. It's yeah. you know. understandable. But me personally, okay, I can't hit her. But all you I would, people. I would, I would have let him get one hit in. But, but all you people who in here laughing, thinking that it's funny, y'all got y'all phones out recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all don't want me to hit her. I'm swinging on y'all. I'm swinging, like, y'all sitting back watching me get abused and y'all think it's funny. Y'all really think it's okay. Okay, I can't take my anger out on the person who doing yeah. damage to me. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out on somebody. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I, like I I'm really like I, that is like such a sensitive topic because I honestly it's crazy because like sometimes I feel like women deserve it. Mm -hmm. They really do because and it's crazy because like. Some women, they will throw rocks and hide their hand. Like, they will provoke a man to hit a, hit them. And then but play they, victim when yeah. that happens. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say that they deserve it. Some what I would say is that a lot of women really, <laughs> a lot of women really don't understand the consequences and they don't really understand how men deal with each other. Like, because women, if you get into a fight with a woman, if Woman, you walking down the street, woman, pull up, jump out. Y'all fighting. Yeah. Be pulling each other high, high clothes be ripping out, titties flopping around, <laughs> got down skirt come off. Y'all still fighting. With men, it's only so much fight. Like, we'll fight, but it's only so much fight that we have in us before it's go get the strap. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really don't have that type of patience with each other because they just kill each other. I can whoop your ass and you'll come back tomorrow and blow my... So it's like... Mm -hmm. nigga, and then they hold on to it. Like, if a guy, yeah. nigga lose a fight, oh, he mad. Yeah. He's gonna go get the strap yeah. now. Like, yeah. now it's war. It's, it's they war, can't so. just let it go. Like, females, I can honestly say, if a female lose a fight, uh, if a female lose a fight, she gonna just own up to it. You feel me? She lost the fight. It is what it and is. And then when you see her, when the woman see, they, they gonna be they gonna, fighting again. Exactly. They gonna be like... But with men, it's like... Next time it's trapped. like, yeah, <laughs> you know, and niggas are air out the whole crowd just to get that one person. Like, yeah. and it, it, it's so I feel like a lot, a lot of women don't understand how men get down, and this is the way we've been through mill mill millennia, like for centuries. That reminded me of when um we was talking about how that dude from um was was it me and you we was talking about it was a dude around spring break this year. In Miami, a dude from Bell Glade had killed someone. Yeah. In yeah, Miami. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Easy, right yeah. in front of everybody. Yeah. Like, we, we that's freaking crazy. Yeah. Like, y'all, yeah, it's a whole nother type of anger with y'all. Yeah, it's know. been like that. Like, you got to think about, like, men have always been the hunter gatherers. We, we've always dealt with the war side, like, battling. The women stay home, the men go out and whether it's fighting another tribe or another group of people and yeah. killing the men and bringing their women back to our tribe, like, and we taking their women up. Like, we've always dealt with things with violence. So, a lot of times, a lot of people think that you're not supposed to respond with violence, but that shit is in us. Like, that shit is really in us. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of guys, like, a lot of guys have patience. That's one thing. Like, Cause honestly, being a female, like I can understand. I don't know. It's just like I I'd be seeing certain females. Like I'm such a cool, laid back female, and I'd be seeing what other niggas, what what guys be going through with other females, and it's just like wow, like you yeah. Like, wow, and I just really be like, certain guys really have patience. Like we have to give guys props for that. Cause and, and females, some females are difficult. I, I I commend you. No, for because real. A lot, a lot of women really do try to hide the shit that they that that the woman race do because they feel like 
if I agree to this, that means he might think that I'm that way too. Like we can we can agree. Like I'm. It's a it's a time to ain't shit niggas out here, ain't it? A yeah, whole bunch yeah, of niggas. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, what, yeah. when you go to talking to women about the ain't shit women, it's like they try they to get, yeah. try to hide it. No, it, no, no, it ain't. You you no. you just don't know how to pick women or they look girls. I, no. That's the one I hate the most. I mean, well, those ain't grown women. They look girls. Be like they grown. Like, <laughs> if you over eighteen, you grown. Goddamn you go, it! I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, give yeah, all that mentality. You grown. Goddamn it! I like yeah. I like how you um said that because it's true though. Even though dudes be out here like you know bashing. Yeah, woman is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty sneaky. Yeah, pretty I ain't bad. Lie, some, but some trifling. But I always th- I think niggas are worse. Yeah, no, for a fact. <clears throat> yeah, <find laughs> I ain't friends. say they wasn't. The worst, I just you know, said... the worst thing, you know, what you could do is cheat on you. You know, hunt, uh, most of the time, you know, it's always that before the all police come, because, you know, the all police always after you. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time, they're going to cheat on you, do you. But a nigga will kill you, shoot yeah, you. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Like, it's you like, know, like, yeah. I'll take that over. I'll no, take a like, speaking of that, there have been so many cases lately of like girls getting killed by their baby mm-hmm. daddy or their mm-hmm. boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy. Yeah, we cannot take a heartbreak. Like I lost mm-hmm. a classmate not too long ago because mm-hmm. she got killed by her baby daddy. Yeah, I saw it on, on the. I yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, and it's like becoming more and more common. I see. Mm-hmm. And a lot it of is. it becomes way of, more common. A lot of dudes <laughs> kill the the the, the girlfriends. Kids too. That happened a lot. Yeah, that a lot of people don't talk about. It. Mm-hmm. And this is why a lot of dudes really be so overprotective about their kids. And mm-hmm. I, I saw this one video. The woman was like, "Why do dudes stay? That's true. Why do dudes stay in a relationship when they unhappy? But women leave like in the heart. And most dudes are like, I can't give this woman a, the opportunity to bring all these different dudes around my kid. Like my yeah. kid is gonna be goddamn." Three games to these dudes. Yeah, I ain't finna let no you, you, other you nigga around my, my kid. Yeah, they like, they love saying it. Yeah. You know, my theory about like all those killings that happened too, I think like once <clears> like <throat> the internet started coming, I think a lot of dudes couldn't fathom the p- fact that women are hoes and they really killed them. It really killed them. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I think like it could Yeah, it like that's. It. So they went on a shoot. Like if you notice, even when like internet started coming up and women started, you know, the, um, the feminine movement, yeah. the shooting rate, even New York City, like I hear women just dying. Yeah, like because the, yeah. the cheating rate went up the, with yeah, everybody. Like as soon as even... so- social media got popular, yeah. everything sparked. So Insecurity, cheating, all that. So even back then, let's say if a guy was getting cheated on, he, will, he wouldn't know. Like, yeah. uh, you know, so it's mm-hmm. good. Like he wasn't able to get. But now they're finding out, yo, that's my wife right there. Give a head to somebody. Oh, that's my girlfriend right there on the internet. That's my People girl being. People expose their chat. You see, their... yeah, the thing you see, they, <laughs> shooting went up. Ooh. Frenzy. If you look at the shooting rate, it went up. Like even um, I have family members that live in New York. They call me every day. They're like, "Yo, I'm like, why is all these guys killing women?" It's just on a frenzy, yeah. man. Went went crazy. It's, yeah. it's scandalous out here, man. I see. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you, I put it on my page two times, two different videos. Woman at work with her work with they work husband. Mm-hmm. She on the they on the phone mm-hmm. with they man mm-hmm. making excuses why they can't come home, and the work husband. Is recording the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, oh she making, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Up. Yeah. And they can't do that stuff like, like that. People get killed. Like, let, let me tell yeah. you, like <clears throat> when dudes pick a woman, because dudes don't settle down with everybody. Like every woman, it, like dudes will go through like ten women before he and he really only love one of them. Mm-hmm. So when a dude really love a woman. He really don't see you that way, and a lot of women don't realize and that's that. Crazy. He would overlook. He that. would overlook. So like that's so true. I, I seen it, dude I, before, <laughs> before, I, before. Before you say, I've seen dudes call women. She a hoe. She a hoe. She a bitch. She a bitch. Then he get a woman that he really love. And everybody know that she a hoe, and he be like, she ain't like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or that's her past life. She ain't like that no more. Yeah. And when he find out that she's still like that, that be heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, that's that's facts. That's true. But I was telling me, me and V, we be um talking about it. So it's always like two spectrum, right? It's always the guy that you know sleep with a lot of women so he knows like what women are capable of and then it's always the one that don't so they always they have like a high expectation yeah. so the expectation is so high so once that dirt does happen they just can't breathe they just can't you can't the fathom whole, the <laughs> image the image of the person that you thought you love is not the image you know, yeah. you know who said that Le Duval 
Lil Duval, he said that on a couple different occasions. I heard him say it with like, bro, y'all, y'all regular nine to five dudes, y'all do not know how y'all women be backstage at these shows. Boy, you're like, boy, I'm a comedian. Be- behind the scenes at these comedy shows, I ain't even gonna talk about the rap concerts and the you're like, man, y'all women be out. Boy, if y'all was to see how y'all women out here, boy, y'all would kill y'all selves for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, these women, they out here giving up to Boosie just, just to goddamn say she was with Boosie and she telling you, you got to pay her rent and do all this other. Like, bro, mm-hmm. y'all would really kill y'all self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. But uh, when I was coming up, right, my dad told me, uh, my dad told me, like, son, it's, um, as you get older, you see all these dudes out here with all these muscles, all these tattoos. They're the hardest dudes on, on the earth. All this. You're like, the one thing that'll be able to break them down is a woman. You're like, you'll see the biggest, baddest motherfucker been to prison multiple times. Hit a dude one time, break a dude whole face. But a woman to have him burp in a fetal position crying. Yeah. A woman, woman, <laughs> women is our, our men's weakness. True. Yeah, I think, you know, anybody that's um in your personal space can like could be your weakness. You know, anybody that you're with twenty four seven you that could be a friend, a woman, a family member, they could break you down because they know you inside and out. Yeah, but that, that said, is you facts know, though. You know, a close friend, you know, that could be even your worst enemy too. Yeah. Yeah. Friends mm-hmm. turn to foes. Foes, yeah. Your woman 